Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 10 Show. OK, so let's dive straight in and see what's causing waves in the American box office. Following the success of Oceans, here's another documentary to hit the film charts. Babies is a brand new entry, sitting at number 10, and is an originally titled Year in the Life look at four babies from different corners of the world. Dropping down to nine is action flick The Losers. A US Special Forces unit is assigned to take down evil genius Max before he triggers another world war. Although boasting one of the least intimidating villain names in film history, $21 million at the box office speaks for itself. Comedy remake Death at a Funeral proves it still has life as it creeps up to number eight. Missing bodies, family secrets and mysterious dwarves abound in the Chris Rock comedy that won't disappoint. Liam Neeson and Sam Worthington star in this year's 3D epic Clash of the Titans, staying still at seven. There's obviously something about blokes in togas wrestling monsters that really gets people going. What's there to dislike about little woodland animals wreaking mayhem on property developer Brendan Fraser? Nothing apparently, as Furry Vengeance stays in the list but down one place to number six. Broody J-Lo visits a sperm bank, only to meet the man of her dreams in a cab on the way home. I tell you, though, I had a penny for every time that happened to me. Dropping one to five, it's the backup plan. Americans just can't seem to get enough of the hilarious Steve Carell and Tina Fey, as Date Night drops only one place to four. My wife and I are on a date. We were hoping to get here earlier, actually get a table. You didn't quite make it, did you? I want tonight to be different. Triple horn. Us. What are you doing? We are the triple horns. Great. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Triple Horn. Get up. Nah. <laughs> did you really think you could steal from Joe Mileto? We are going to die! I don't want the kids to live with your mother! She's awful! <laughs> We're gonna find the triple horns. What are you doing here? We didn't have a reservation, so we took yours, and now they think that we're you. You, you just took our reservation? What kind of people are oh, you? Not a big deal! The second 3D film in the American Top 10 this week is How to Train Your Dragon at number three. With over $200 million so far, this star-studded children's film is already one of the biggest hits of the year. At number two, Freddy's coming for you in the classic horror remake A Nightmare on Elm Street. Stock up on coffee and brace yourself for this jumper minute scare fest. And Robert Downey Jr. proves he's still one of the coolest people in the world as the metal clad gazillionaire steals the top spot with new entry Iron Man 2. Can Marvel do no wrong? <laughs> come from a family of thieves and butchers. And now, like all guilty men, you try to rewrite your own history. And you forget all the lives the Stark family has destroyed. They will be blood in the water, and the sharks will come. So that's the American tale, but here's what's making big news in the UK. Starting off at number 10 is the blockbuster Clash of the Titans, plummeting five places since last week. When Steve Carell and Tina Fey steal a dinner reservation, their evening takes a turn for the worse in Date Night, down six to number nine. Next at eight, it's The Last Song, AKA an appropriate reason for blokes to stare at Miley Cyrus for a couple of hours. Great for romantics, a tiny bit nauseating for the rest of us. I'd probably talk about this with a girlfriend if I had one here. Oh, do you want to talk? Yeah. Let's talk. Sometimes you have to be apart from people you love. But that doesn't mean you love them any less. Sometimes it even makes you love them more. Ugly Betty and some prettier people team up for the best animated 3D children's dragon training film this year. How to Train Your Dragon slips from two to seven in the charts. Brass Eye creator Chris Morris turns to the big screen for an equally controversial but comedic look at terrorism in Britain. It's the first UK new entry at six. 
four lions. Why do we need a training camp anyway? We're primed. We don't need some tramp up a mountain telling us to set a fuse. What we're gonna do is got a blast in history. Echo through the ages. Blow something up. What are we gonna blow up, Raj? Internet. What? Costume. We can, we can disguise the gear in there, and it's perfect. Blame for the fun run, lads. Yeah, Charity. If you're gonna die in that gear, lads. It's all for a good cause, though. Yeah. Go off. No, you're, you're confused, bro. I'm not confused, brother. I just took a picture of my face. It's definitely not my confused face. Everybody's With interest starting to fall stateside, the new Jennifer Lopez movie lands in Britain straight into the chart at number five. In the backup plan, JLo finds herself at odds with her uterus after falling in love straight from the sperm clinic. I have a feeling that you and CRM1014 are gonna make beautiful babies. Taxi! Oh, excuse me. I didn't see you. I saw you see me. You gonna see him again? I think so. But what if I'm pregnant? You're early. I'll be a minute. Three to five minutes, actually. There's something that I have to tell you. I have something I need to tell you, too. You go first. I love you. It's not the answer I was hoping for. I'm pregnant. I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen that fast. It was before I met you. Oh, you had no idea, huh? The backup plan. Another new entry in of four, it's back to the 80s comedy, Hot Tub Time Machine. With John Cusack's sarcasm, a nostalgic soundtrack and some token cleavage, it's a comedy with a bit of something for everyone. Watch out, here I come. come, come, come. What the hell happened last night? Is there some kind of retro thing going on this weekend? There's something going on in here. Dude is rocking cassette player. Leg moments. I'm sure there's a good explanation for all this. Jerry girl! Excuse me, miss. What color is Michael Jackson? Black. I don't understand how we back in time. I'm so scared. Must be some kind of hot tub time machine. Hot tub time machine. And the new entries just keep on coming with this week's number three, the slash tastic remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street. I had another nightmare last night. I can't tell what's real anymore. Is there anybody else out there that this is happening to? Every time that I dream, there's always this man. It's me, it's you, it's Dean, it's Jesse, Chris. He's in all of our heads, Nancy. We gotta stop this. How? Don't fall asleep. I haven't slept in three days. We're running out of time. At the 70 hour mark, the insomniac will begin to experience micro naps. It means you're dreaming, but you don't know it. Even if you're awake. No, just me. Brendan Fraser is a property developer facing massive opposition from the local wildlife in Furry Vengeance. This week's number two. It's a man versus animal, nature versus machine, money versus faith type of film. Avatar looks tame in comparison. You're building on a nature preserve, and nature's ticked off. This time you were protecting them. Come on, little fella. Honey, are you in there? Uh, don't worry, we'll have you down in no time. You might want to cover your eyes. And yep, you probably guessed it, Iron Man 2 has once again topped the UK box office, taking over £15 million and counting. So if you want a surefire hit, all you need is a metal suit and some fireworks. Oh, and a $200 million budget. Oh, and Robert Downey Jr. and Ricky Rourke. That's all for the Top 10 Show this week. See you next time for more box office news.